How's it guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is James and this is that med guy. Today we're going to be talking about pain management. Pain management is something that historically we don't do well. If it's in hospital, out of hospital, wherever you are, we are biased towards people. We are not qualified and I don't think anyone is to be able to evaluate pain and know how much pain someone is in. There are quite a few studies that have assessed this and I'll drop some links to the bottom. They have looked at the prejudice of people towards um, age and gender and race. And um, it is something that we should really be more careful of, something that we should be really conscious of. And whenever we're treating someone and they're in pain, we should be able to treat someone's pain without being biased towards whatever they may or may not be. So there is this amazing protocol that I found and I will drop a link to that as well at the bottom, which is called the M protocol. M is kind of for like morphine, but you can do the same thing for fentanyl or whatever um, opiate you're using to treat pain, but morphine is what the study was on. The doctor will assess the patient and, and ask them, do you have pain? And if the patient said yes, and you know, their heart rate and blood pressure and everything was at the right place to receive morphine, they would then ask, do you want pain medicine? And if they said yes, they would give the patient 0.1 milligrams per kilogram of morphine IV. Remember when we're giving morphine, you should give it diluted and you should give it slow. If you do these, you won't see drops in blood pressure and you won't see uh, nausea. Important that the thing that they noted is that if the patient is in pain and you ask them, do you want pain medicine? And they say, yes, you give it. It's not up to you to make the decision on how much or how often. And so they would initially give 0.1 as long as they are younger than 45, they give 0.1. If they're older than 45, they um, halve that. Then they'd come back um, five to 10 minutes later and ask, so do you want more pain medicine? And if they said yes, they would then give 0.05 milligrams per kilogram. They'd then come back again five or 10 minutes later and they would repeat this process until the patient said, I don't want pain medicine or they're asleep. They found that most of the time, by the time they had given the second dose, the patient is either asleep or they didn't want any more. This removes us being biased. We shouldn't be saying, well, I don't think your 10 out of 10 really is a 10 out of 10 when we cannot assess that sort of thing. Pain is, it is personal, it is individual, it is not for us to tell someone how bad their pain is. It doesn't cost us money to give them morphine. If we start using words like morphine, it has lots of connotations with a lot of negative things. Maybe you had a sibling or you had a parent or a loved one who was on mist morphine, so the liquid morphine that they drink while they have cancer. There's lots of connotations with the word morphine. And so in the study, they also used the word pain medicine and not, so would you like some morphine? You say, so do you want some pain medicine? And so it also removes the patient's um, bias towards like words and also then we don't trigger things by saying it. The word, so do you want pain medicine is a easier way to ask. And then once they say, well, yes, then you just get, follow the protocol. This removes us from being biased. We don't treat pain well. Uh, we have the ability to do it and we really should because imagine this was your loved one. Imagine your spouse or your child or your sibling was in pain. Would you be sitting there judging them on whether it's you know, really a 10 out of 10 or are we gonna actually just give them as much as we can so that they're sleeping? The next time you are dealing with someone in pain, try and remove your own bias and really just try and treat them with what they're really needing. The next time you have a patient, remember, it is not your job to judge how bad the pain is. It's your job to make sure it's safe to give it to them and that it is gonna be safe while they're having it so that they can get to hospital safely or if they're in hospital, that they can manage their pain. Next time you have a patient, try it out. Maybe if you do, drop me a comment below. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit like and subscribe. If you have any comments, questions or queries, please drop them below and we shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.